Hi, this is Mananjal V. In this episode, I'll show you a simple solution for a common issue with blend modes in LumaFusion. Let's say that you want to blend a video with a dark background like this one. You would usually use the screen blend mode and the result would look like this. I'll show you how to enhance the screen blend mode so the result ends up looking like this. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. As you can see, in the enhanced version, the original colors of the blend layer are better kept and the subject is less transparent. Here are some other examples showing the enhanced screen blend mode in action. Let's jump into LumaFusion and start by blending the fire using the screen blend mode to recreate the issue. We start with a new project, having the clip that will be used as the background video already placed on the main track. The clip of the fire with the dark background that we saw earlier is just next to it. I purposely chose a background video with hard straight lines for the base layer to better illustrate the issue that we are going to solve. Drag the clip containing the footage of the fire just above the background video. Edit the clip of the fire. Tap on the frame and fit tab if it's not already selected. Expand the blending area and select the screen blend mode. Once you're done, exit back to the timeline. This is how it looks like now. As you can see, applying the screen blend mode results in a brighter image where the colors of the fire are lighter and semi-transparent. This is because when using the screen blend mode, pure black areas in the blend layer disappear, white areas remain unchanged and solid, but shades between them, in this case the flames, become lighter and semi-transparent. Also notice that results will look better the darker the base layer is. In a moment, you'll use that fact to your advantage. You will create a dark mask that is shaped as the subject of the blend layer, in this case the flames, but you will keep the rest of the background intact. So let's get to it. Edit the clip containing the footage of the fire. Tap on the frame and fit tab if it's not already selected. Expand the blending area and change the selected blend mode from screen to the last item in the list, Silhouette Luma. As you can see, this blend mode creates a dark mask in the shape of the fire, while keeping the dark areas of the image transparent. Now, let's make it a bit darker. Tap on the Colors and Effects tab. Select the Palette section and tap on the original preset. Adjust the middle levels towards the edges as shown. You may need to get back to this step and adjust the levels if the edges of the mask are too defined and create a dark halo around your subject. Exit back to the timeline. This is how it looks like now. You may still want to make the mask darker. To do so, clone the clip you just edited and place it on top of its original. As you can see, it's instantly darker. Now, clone the last clip one more time. This will be the clip to which the screen blend mode will be applied. Place the clip you just cloned on top of its original. Edit the clip. Tap on the Colors and Effects tab if it's not already selected and delete the original preset. Tap on the Frame and Fit tab. Expand the Blending section and change the Blend mode from Silhouette Luma to Screen. Exit back to the timeline. This is how it looks like now. 
As you can see, the colors are more accurate and solid. This is because the subject in the clip is now projected over a dark mask. If you feel that you need more brightness, you can enhance the effect by adding a new clone copy of the clip with the screen blend mode as an additional layer as shown. Notice that by adding brightness, you may lose color accuracy. So choose your blending wisely and mildly. You can try other blend modes and effects and see what you can come up with. So this is it for this episode. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. Give it a like and click on the bell so you are notified when I post new videos. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next one.